Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 8 of Antimatter Chemistry. Today we are getting into deep mob learning, so let's get into it. If you missed the episode, well the between episode thing I recorded on automation, you might want to check it out if you're interested in automating stuff. I set up all these machines, well most of them, and auto crafting, and a couple farms. So, if you're interested in that, go check it out. It's pretty long, though. Uh, if you did watch it, there's a couple things I missed, which was C2, this combiner here, was acting up. That's because I forgot to switch the redstone signal on the crafter to, craft, uh, to unlock with a redstone signal. The same with the third one I added. And that fixed the problem. The other thing is if you recall we were having issues with power which now we are good I set up four sets of carrot farms back here do 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 so ooh. they all have growth crystals around them in some spots just to help them go faster and I dropped the range had on down to four instead of five I put the five inside of the, uh, whatever that is, redstone. But basically, the gatherer and the planters, which are under here, they will not work any faster if you give them a larger range. So having multiple smaller ones is better than having one larger farm. So keep that in mind if you're setting them up. They just export with a flat transfer node into a tank for their sludge, which comes over here into a gargantium bear uh, drum. I emptied out the other ones that I had now. So these hold a lot. They are actually pretty easy to make. I didn't realize it. You just take a drum. These Klein bottles, they're just a bottle and two ender pearls. And then the Demon metal is just a piece of gold thrown in lava, so pretty easy. All right, so yeah, we'll get into uh, the deep mob learning now. I've played with this before, so I'm not that unfamiliar with it. Basically, you use this polymer clay plus a data model, and then it generates the loot for them. They so get the overworld matter and based off of how high you grind the model up you get the pristine matter by a higher percentage. Just letting it run in the machine will also give it experience though. So here's some of the, the recipes here. We got the machine casing which is needed for two simulation chambers. I'll get it. Ooh, experience. Yay, just what I always needed. We have a loot fabricator, which I already made. And then I believe I need two more simulation chambers. Yep, which I already made. I set up auto crafting for them. I don't know if I could actually make 10, but yeah. There's a lot of recipes set up. You look at here this is only craftable stuff so it knows how to make this kind of stuff right now that's the stuff we did in the other episode oh i also made a magnet and the other thing i want to do is i mentioned it before i want an angel ring so chickens you can get eggs with just calcium carbonate and uh, protein I made 10 eggs. I threw four of them and I got four chickens, so I think it's a 100% chance to get a chicken out of them. Maybe. Or when it does spawn, it spawns multiple. Yeah, okay. Well, I threw four of them and I got four chickens. Now I just threw six and got nothing. So I made the chicken ring. 
And then if you upgrade this with a squid, squids you can get in the deep dark. All I did was I found a pool of water that was on the surface. I vein mined it straight down in a 5x5, five five, went down to the bottom and waited for a squid to drop. And they spawn there, so it's all good. So I got a squid. Now we should be able to make the angel ring. There we go. I made some. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a little slow feeling. Maybe because I'm used to running. But we have created flight. Which is nice. I went ahead and I got rid of the sugarcane farm. I expanded the water generators and added a few fire generators. Just so that I have sufficient power usage. And then that's about it there. Let's see. What else? Mm, oh, uh, I made a bunch of culinary generators. Split up some speed upgrades in between them. That way they all work pretty decently. Keeps the power full, so all good. Oh, flight is so much nice. I, I forgot how convenient that is. Alright, let's get some flux ducts out. Which we are running low on. I wanted to upgrade these, actually, now that I think about it. Let's see, what do we got? I don't feel like doing that, so let's go with the 4,000. Bloodstone. Yeah, that'll work. I think I am limited based off of uh, the transfer rate over here. Because I'm not sure if this is taking. The 1000, because these are limited. When I drop the power, it's more noticeable how slow it is. So if you take out the. I made a capacitor also. It goes up pretty, pretty slow. But it's unlimited free power, so I'm not worried. Right, what were we making? We we're just making something. What was it? Oh, the the cables. They only got three? No, these ones. Let's replace this. Hopefully that'll help. It seems to be better. Could just be my imagination though. And then we'll take the other ones. For now, I'm not going to automate these, so I'll just set up the deep mob stuff back here. Then over here, I have some clay. It's just clay, gold, iron, and lapis. Although now that I can auto craft, I should make a recipe for it. All out of room. I love automating stuff. Then we'll just make three stacks. Good. All right. So now we need data models. We have the learner, so now we need models to put in them, which these should be pretty straightforward. I tried setting up auto crafting for them. It doesn't work. It goes 
here. Yep. Because it can't split up. Duplicates. But it'll still craft all the prerequisite ingredients. There we go. So we need... Make a creeper. We need a skeleton. We need a blaze. And a zombie. There we go. I did a bunch of enchanting. I got a... Finally, it took me forever, but I finally got capturing. I threw it on the diamond sword. I got holding, which if you're not familiar with it, it expands your satchel or some of your other uh, thermal expansion things. So your deep learner here can hold four cards down in the bottom right corner. So go ahead and put all four in. And basically, okay, yeah, they traditionally they start off on faulty. Some mod packs are nice and they start you on basic. You need to get to basic at least before you can put these inside of the uh, simulation chamber. So to level them up, you can get them to basic, then put them in the simulation chamber and they'll gain experience. Or you can go kill the mobs, which is what we're going to do. So I have a bunch of random spawners. I got the spawner eggs using that capture sword. We'll just. I made a little room here. Uh, Blaze, I'm going to do last because they'll spawn regardless of light level. So then we should be able to change one to a creeper. Yep. One to a zombie. And one to a skeleton. And then if you look at the spawner, the uses on it, you can increase how many spawn by giving it a fermented spider eye. So I made a few of those up. I'm just going to raise it by two because if you see the spawn count is already four, but the max entities is nearby is six. And now we'll just go turn off the light. They'll start spawning. So if you put... Uh, usually I'd say put that in your offhand. Actually, we could hold it there. No, we can't. And then if you check them, you'll see you already have some kills towards some of them. Skeleton's already at basic. Creeper's got two kills. Three on zombie. Three on blaze. Hey, yeah, yeah, I know. I made a magnet. So, I'm going to level these all the way up, which is going to be um, self-aware. And then I'll be back. So, see you in a moment. And we're back. I managed to get them all up to self-aware. I even went to the nether with the capture sword. Got a wither skeleton egg and made one of those self-aware for later. Because we'll probably need it. Eventually. So what I'm going to do is actually I might automate these to a certain extent. So let's go with, let's just set up. You can see them. There's an XNet controller. We'll put down. We have five connectors. I don't care about that. Uh, actually, I need one more. Actually, no, I don't. You know what? Just... I have extra power cells everywhere, so... There we go. And that's set to output. Alright, so the idea here is going to be... They need clay. Give it a zombie. Skeleton and creeper. 
So these over time, there's a there the progress is in the bottom right corner. Once it goes up to 100, you have a 42% chance of self-aware to get the pristine matter. Is that the same for all of them? Yep. And then you always get the overworldly matter, I believe, or based off of what it is. So you can get the hellish or um, what's the other one? Use Enderman, extraterrestrial. Anyway, let's set this up real quick. If you're not too familiar with this, the first channel I usually set to energy. I'll just call it power. We're going to have it extract from the power cell, and we're going to insert it into all of the machines. This means I don't have to run cables as well as uh, some sort of item duct. Second channel, I'm going to do items. Need a chest, which I already have. Put that here. My storage color is white, white, red. Yep. So then on the item channel for the chest, we're going to insert. From here, we're going to extract all, extract all, extract all. There. And now. No, we're doing okay there. Takes a lot of RF. Wow. It should be doing it. Why are you not doing it? Maybe they have a different output side. Let's see. Transfer. How many do we need? We need eight. Eight and four. So we're good there. We just need a little more. All right, let's see. So if I put this on top, does it pull? Oh, no, we don't want that one. Okay, so top is probably going to be the bottom. If I put this on the bottom, what's it pull out? Okay. And if I take all those away, all right, we'll just uh, redo the cable then. Let's see. One more connector. And a cable. Just move all these. Where'd you go? One, two, three, four, five. And then I guess we'll just come out here. Whoops. Oh, I can fly. <laughs> I forgot. All right, let's do this again. Insert power. Insert power. Insert. Insert. Extract all. Extract all. Extract all. And last one. Hmm. Uh. 
if we give it a color. Now are you going to? No, oh well. I'll figure that out later. That should give a. Uh, we need a little more time for the skeleton. Okay, well, while we wait for that. There's a spinning wheel from the Atum mod, which you take, you can use flax or you can use uh, the cloth scraps from the mummies, but you need three to get one as opposed to flax, which is three to get three. Flax you just get by breaking grass inside of the dimension. I didn't get any from the dead grass, I got it from oasis grass. And then you plant them and you can't right click to harvest them but you can if you use your comma but to use this this doesn't have any GUI or anything so you can't really right click anywhere but if you right click on the top with flax you'll see that the top spins once it spins four times there'll be a little bar here and then that bar will get bigger with the second one and then one more with the third and then you can't right click the top anymore but you can pull it out now and you'll get your three pieces I just went ahead and got all this stuff together uh, the bones I got from well spawners I set up a bunch of the I don't have them here they're in they're over that way but there's a bunch of uh, bone storm spawners that you get from invading the pyramids. You can use those and they drop bones. All right, let's see now. So we have all those. I'm just going to do mass collect, see what I get. They're still. Oh, because those are the choice ones. I don't know what to pick for those yet, so I'm not going to. Well, we're almost ready for the, the Ender Dragon. Uh, cakes I've been getting from the mob farm, the, these purple loot crates, or magenta. All right, so let's see here. Can we make it? Lithium, we have that. No, we don't. Lithium, we can get from dates those we should have a little well not much oh well we have four never mind we're good there we go four of those and then get our matters back and then get a cake and then we'll lock it in here. There we go. Oh, we don't need that because we can slash home. Now it wants us to go to the end, so, uh, all right. Not much more prep I need to do, so let me put this away, dash that, and then I have food. Yeah, alright. Well, I guess let's go kill the Ender Dragon then. Alright, this shouldn't be that hard. Those would be a little harder. <laughs> I 
should be able to hit him from the top. Maybe. Can you go through the bars? No. Stop shooting stuff at me. There we go. Now you're undefended. <laughs> this is, uh, not that hard with all this stuff we already prepared. Fly through the door. Use your wall hacks. You're not gonna land. I thought you landed a lot. Turn my magnet on. It says draconic, so you want to stay close to it because when it dies, it'll drop an egg. Maybe not. It's supposed to. What do you guys want? Useless. Alright, and uh, that's the end of the dragon. Pizza. Now we're ready for chapter 5. Would you stop hitting me? You're not doing anything. <laughs> they just kill themselves. We don't even need to collect those. I'll pick up the egg later. Actually, no. We'll get it now. Where to go? Easiest way I find to do this is just dig under it, get a torch. The torch there, and then just oh, dang it! Try that again. There, and that'll get you the egg pretty easily. I don't think I oh, see, there is the heart. It must have just fallen out of range of my magnet at first. I am going to take some of this end stone so we can use it. Get rid of all this. Let's take a quick look at the surface. Is draconium dust here? Or do we have to get it elsewhere? I don't see any. I guess we'll get that somewhere else. Usually there's a lot of it around here. Yeah, not seeing it. Alright. Well, there you go, there's a quick look into deep mob learning and uh, killing the ender dragon. Oh, turn off the magnet. So, that's about it for this episode. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey there, everyone. Just a quick update about the controller and extracting from the simulation chambers. The only problem was that the controller did not have power, and I was not inserting power into itself as well. So with that, it works as expected. Once it finishes, it pulls them out throws them in the chest. So... That's it, just wanted to let you know, so bye-bye.